Hi, Dorji McKinnon here with another Vajra video series that's helping internet and digital workplace professionals get stuff done. Hi folks, well here we are, digital workplace internet video to help you improve search in less than 10 minutes. I know, who knew it was possible? So what have we got for you today? Well, one of the things about Office 365 and SharePoint um, is that when you do a search, you get a bunch of filtered results, which is awesome and cool. So let's have a look at what that page looks like. We'll just go to the next page here. So if we did a search for John, we'd end up with um, a result set that does not look like this. A result set that looks like this. There we go. Uh, everything on the result set is down here in the lower part of the window. If we wanted to then find a person, we would have to click people filter, um, which is fine. And I actually like the way that SharePoint does this. You, know, you used to have at the search bar at the beginning, three or four different options. That was a terrible usability thing. People just did a search and hit go and they, didn't, they never ended up in the right place. So it's better that they now have these major categories across the top just beneath the um, search bar and in the usability testing I've done with real people in real situations um, it works fine. How can we make it a little bit better and how can you do that in less than 10 minutes? Okay, It's actually not too difficult um, and thanks to some blokes in Sweden um, it's even easier. So the idea is when I search for John I don't get search results that show people. If I searched for John Smith and there was a John Smith in your people directory, then I would get people results here, but not everybody. And in fact, if you look at your search results, which is another video you should be doing every week or so, um, if you look at search terms that people are using, they're not searching for full people, full names of people, unless there are lots of John Smiths in your organization, in which case they might try and qualify them, you know, John Smith engineer, for example. So how can we make this set of search results a little bit better when they just do a search for one name? Okay, so this is what you can do in less than 10 minutes. We've still, someone's done a search for John, they've ended up on the everything page, and there are two people results here. Now this is a bit of a hack of, of various bits and pieces, because um, I couldn't show you the actual screenshot for the company that I was doing the work for, but basically what happens is, under the everything tab, you get people results even if it's just one person's name. Now you can change the layout of these results a little bit depending on the display template you use, but we'll leave that for another time. We've only got 10 minutes. So how do we do it? Well, thanks to these folks here at Puzzle Part, um, they have some very specific examples of how to do that. And I'll put the link in the, uh, in the comments below this video. But basically, I've just done it for a client site. It took me about 10 minutes to work out how to do it in Office 365, um, SharePoint Online. Um, and it works just like that, out of the box, and it's better than what's out of the box. So, there's your quick tip for today. How to improve search for people, because we all know people are the interesting part of the internet world, in under 10 minutes. Thanks a lot, come back again. Comment below, let me know what you think. Thanks, bye. Thanks everyone, this has been another Vajra video by me, Dorji McKinnon. If you need some help across the interwebs via desktop sharing or in person, contact me at www.vajra.co.nz. Good luck and happy intraneting.